Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and I'm so glad that you stopped in and uh, as soon as I can get comfortable here <laughs> I'll start my video. <laughs> uh, there we go. I guess I'm alright. I have no idea. I've been working around the house and doing laundry and this and that and even though it is after midnight I'm still up and ready. <laughs> so anyway Let's get going. I want to welcome everybody to my channel. If you subscribe, that's wonderful. If you uh, hit the like button, that's great. If you just come to visit, that's awesome too. Please join in. Please. Now, for this article here, it's about student loans. And I know we've probably all read it and heard about it already. But it seems to really be something with Biden. Biden is forced to extend student loan pause amid legal challenges. On Tuesday, Joe Biden's administration announced that the former vice president's student loan payments would continue to be suspended until June of 30, June 30 of 2023. The courts will then decide if his debt transfer is legal. Now, see, he's made promises that may not even pass. Now, if you're going to be a president of a country, and you're for the people and your country, why would you make promises that you're not positively sure you can keep? You know, I don't know. I question everything about Biden, but that's just me. You know, I think we all do in a way. But in March of 2020, <clears throat> excuse me, then President Donald Trump asked for a, a moratorium on student loan payments due to the coronavirus outbreak. The payments have been suspended several times since then. In August, Biden said that he would give a financial boost to those who are eligible for the federal grants and loans by reducing their student loan debt. He noted that the extension would last for one last time and that he would extend the moratorium on payments until December 31st of 2020. Now we're talking this is 22, been two years ago. The student loan thing has been in the works. So why didn't uh, he converse with whoever he had to converse with and just say, why don't we just wipe out all student loans and forget it and let them start over? You know, I'm sure he probably would have had a lot of uh, comeback on that one uh, because the schools would be out of getting paid, but they overcharge way too much anyway. And it makes it hard for kids to get into college anymore that really want to go and learn and have a career of life. You know, <clears throat> but... Um, as much government money that is wasted, just wasted on stupidity. Why not? Wipe out everybody's student loan. Let them start over. You know? And put a freeze on the price so kids can get into college and become creative and go to society, you know, and build it up and, and show that they did have a college degree. It was um, comprehensible, the price. It wasn't overloaded, you know. Wouldn't that have been a better, better thing to do? Because we got children growing up that want to go to college. How much is it going to cost them right now to get into college? You know? <clears throat> I just don't, I don't know. Things are just, I don't know. <clears throat> I can't find the right words. No. So I guess I'll say no words. That's usually my motto. No words. <clears throat> in the case, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still fighting a little bit of cold, I swear I am. 
They just don't want to give up. <laughs> but I feel a lot better than I did. If the case is over 60 days, after the Department of Education is authorized to administer the program, then the payments will resume. If the lawsuit is not resolved by June 30th, the payments will stop. In response, Biden criticized Republican officials for trying to prevent his debt relief, debt relief strategy from happening. He noted, yeah, but $10,000? That ain't even a drop in a bucket to what these kids have to pay to get into college, to go through college. That's not even a drop in a bucket. And I've said that before. Boy, I hate to keep repeating myself. Is it my age? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, however, the two federal courts have ruled that his program is unconstitutional. To give the Supreme Court more time to consider the issue, Secretary of Education, uh, Secretary Cordona, decided to extend the uh, mo moratorium on his payments until June 30th of 2023. A federal appeals court prevented Biden from carrying out his debt relief plan. And an administrative stay was issued by the Eighth Circuit after a lawsuit was filed by the Attorneys General of Missouri in Nebraska. This was a major setback for Biden's plan to reduce the student loan debt. Well, I don't know. After a federal judge in Texas ruled that Biden's plan to reduce his student loan debt was illegal, the administration stopped accepting new applications. In an email, Uh, Miguel, Miguel, Miguel Cordona, M-I-G-U-E-L, Miguel, 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 Miguel maybe, Cordona, Biden's education secretary referred to the cases as merited, meritedless, no merit. Just trying to help our young people set a career for themselves to get into college to do what they want to do with their life, and these people got to fight over it. Due to the various legal actions that have been filed against pro do you see why so many teenagers don't give a damn no more? There's no positivity in anything any of these big wigs do. Somebody's got to fight them on it. And it's for our young people. It don't make sense to me. I'm sorry. It just don't. Due to the various legal actions that have been filed against the program, the Education Department has been unable to continue accepting new applications for the debt relief program. However, it has been granted to those who have already submitted their applications that the government will work, will continue to work with them to settle their debts. This week, the Biden administration asked the Supreme Court to dismiss the emergency motion filed by the Eighth Circuit. Despite the various legal challenges that have been presented against the program, the Department of Justice still plans on continuing to work with families to provide them a financial relief. Biden noted that it was unfair for the government to force people who are eligible for debt relief to start making payments while the courts are still considering the complaints. Well, by God, Biden does make sense once in a while, don't he? Yes, he does. Some people who support the cancellation of student loans were disappointed by Biden's decision to increase the monthly payment schedule. Well, he's being pushed. Don't you think so? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Braxton uh, Brewington, a spokesman for the Debt Collective, noted that the government should not be able to collect on the debt that Biden promised to settle. But no, let's fight them. We don't care about our young people, whether they get in college or they don't. Isn't that what they're saying? Why aren't they working for our young people? Get them in education, get them off the streets. No wonder the kids have all gone away. 
And this makes it to where the young people, well, what am I going to do when I graduate? I can't afford to go to college. Well, community colleges, uh, we have one here in my town. And I'm not sure how they operate. I've never visited them, which I would like to do. That would be interesting. But um, I praise them. If they can allow our children to get off the streets after they graduate and make something out of their lives instead of all this crime and drugs that will sooner or later kill them. You know, just don't know. Well, I've got a whole desktop here full, so I'm going to keep rolling on. And so uh, I'll be back. Give somebody a blessing today. Well, it's probably too late, maybe your time, if you live anywhere around my time, area, zone, because it's 12, 15 a.m., but tomorrow, give somebody a blessing, because you are a blessing. I'll be back.